In today's video, we're going to be adding B-roll footage and showing you a little bit how to work with B-roll. Let's get started right now. Okay, so maybe you're making a video and you figure, you know what, something like this that I'm doing where I'm kind of giving an overview of a bike that I've been riding. And uh, just showing this bike for a minute straight might get a little bit boring. So we want to put some B-roll in there just to really flash things up, give the movie a little bit of movement, give it some interesting kind of shifts and transitions for people watching so they don't get bored. So maybe instead of just showing this bike, I'd like to put a picture of the bike being ridden or maybe a location where we've uh, ridden this bike. So what we need is a secondary clip to put in over this. Now, what I'm going to do really quickly is just go over to my desktop. I've got a, a video clip here that I'm going to drag in that we took while we were in Aspen, Colorado. And it'll just give a little bit of, uh, as you can see, some color and a little bit of movement uh, for where we were riding this bike. So let me move this uh, project window back here so you can see it fully. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take my slider and just move it out a little bit just so we can work with a larger area within this clip. Okay, so this clip's 11 seconds. Now remember, whenever you do this, whenever you're importing a new, uh, a new clip, you can either import it into the project as its own separate clip, so something like this, but again, what will happen is this clip will automatically transition over into the next one, or you can take that, again, make sure it's highlighted, and we're just gonna drag it over to an area that we really would like to drop it and see that B-roll kind of move in. Something else you need to remember is that if you have double audio, both of those audio pieces are going to play. That's something you really don't want because it can get very distracting, especially if there's dual talking. So make sure you come over to the clip that you just want visuals for, not the audio. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to drag this audio volume all the way down to zero. So now we're just going to get that visual as the tr as the uh, the clip transitions. So let me show you kind of what that looks like now. Note here in Colorado, so we've had a little bit of mud issues over the last few days, and as a result, this thing was. So there you go. So the audio for again my bike tutorial video is playing in the background there, but I'm showing a nice visual of some areas where we've been riding lately. That again is the easiest way to drop B-roll and to use B-roll in your project, especially if you have some of these audio uh, overlays, uh, just to, again, to make things a little bit interesting. All right, I'm keeping this super simple. There's a lot more ways of using B-roll, but again, this is probably the easiest to just keep things seamless and, uh, and on track. I hope that helps. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? Helps us know we're making good videos for you. And you might want to subscribe because we have a lot more iMovie tutorials that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.